Good morning. Welcome to Three Minutes on Markets and Money. Talking about our money flow sell signals again as we get into month end and quarter end rebalancing for pension funds. This is going to be the big thing here over the next week or so, we think, because right now, because of this strong rise in equity prices over the course of the last year in particular, and the decline in bond prices because of the rise in interest rates, pension funds are really out of balance here, and they're going to have to rebalance here by the end of the quarter. So that's going to potentially put more pressure on stocks. Now, we've already kind of seen this going on here for the last few days, and we've warned about this money flow sell signal here um, as well at the fact that we also have negative money flows. So this is kind of really important here. These negative money flows suggest that there's pressure on prices. Not surprisingly, that signal, of course, has has correlated into a sell-off in the markets here over the last few days. Nothing major. There's been some decent support for prices. Again, stock buybacks, as an example, have hit an all-time record here just over the last four weeks. So even as stock prices are selling off, there's still underlying support for prices. And that's really kind of coming from the weekly side of the ledger as well. If we look at the weekly chart, and this is a, a better indicator of kind of what's going on in the markets, you'll notice a little bit of a different setup here. Money flows remain solidly positive here across the board on a weekly basis, even though we have a weekly money flow sell signal in, in, in place here. And that, of course, has corresponded with this kind of this consolidation of the markets. Markets haven't really gone up or down here over the last several weeks, just kind of really traded sideways within a range. And that kind of corresponds with this weekly sell signal with positive money flows. In other words, there's support for prices in the short term. And so even though there's weakness, right, they're selling pressure, there's plenty of buyers there to help buy those dips, so to speak, keeping these, these markets in kind of this consolidation pattern. Seeing the same thing here back earlier this year in August and September, markets kind of went sideways, positive money flows as well during that sell signal. Where we need to really begin to worry is if these money flows turn negative. In periods where you have a sell signal with negative money flows, that's where you get bigger declines in stock prices. So again, that's the thing we want to be watching for, but we up right now. So combining this type of an outlook with our shorter term money flow indicators suggests that yeah, more volatility here in the short term, a bit more sell-off, not surprising here, a little bit of a correction here over the next week or so, very likely. And then when we get the daily money flows back to oversold, that'll probably lead to a better opportunity here because that's going to align with also a potential buy signal in the weekly indicators as well, which would suggest a better opportunity to put capital to work in the markets for the next phase. The one thing to keep a watch on here as well, and we did add some TLT to our portfolios yesterday to both hedge our stock portfolio as well as to participate potentially in this rebalancing as opposed to the stock market, which is on a shorter term money flow sell signal. Bonds are actually on a money flow buy signal with very, very strong inflows right now going into bonds. So this really kind of supports this idea of this pension fund rebalancing idea, uh, quarter end rebalancing for all these uh, portfolio managers as well. Seeing an opportunity here with, with bond prices moving up, getting above the 20-day moving average. There's still some upside here. Not a lot. Got to move up to the 50-day moving average maybe at this point. But again, an opportunity to potentially hedge some risk in portfolios by adding bonds here at least short term. Don't know if this is a long-term trade with all the other stuff going on, but certainly an opportunity in the short term. I'm your host Lance Roberts for three minutes on markets and money. We'll see you tomorrow.